like this is the beginning of the ground invasion that the world has been talking about. Um, the Israeli army is saying that they are now moving civilians from the eastern part of Rafa to a new humanitarian area um, near around Al Mawasi. Um, and they're saying that they are making phone calls, um, they're conveying it through flyers, SMS messages, phone calls, media broadcasts in Arabic. They're warning Palestinians to leave Rafa. Israel is talking about this new humanitarian area. Um, I think by that they mean um, near down near the beach, um, the eastern, they're moving them from eastern Rafa. I think they want them to go down towards the beach where we've seen a lot of tents um, and a lot of sort of pop-up accommodation. Um, that seems to be what, what the Israelis are talking about. They're not going into too much detail, but um, you know, it, it's a real challenge um, for them to move these people out of there. They've already been bombing Rafa in the last few days anyway, but this indicates that it's about to seriously escalate. And it seems to me this is a response um, overnight the Hamas fired rockets at the Kerem, near the Kerem Shalom crossing between Israel and Gaza, and they killed three Israeli soldiers, which is rare. Most days, Israeli soldiers aren't killed. Mm. Killing three was obviously a blow to Israel and indicated that Hamas still has firepower. And I think that that has triggered, in my assessment, that's triggered Israel to decide to do this now. Gaza is essentially destroyed. Most of Gaza now is damaged or destroyed. There's not much left standing. And I think the United States is essentially saying that you've, you've really broken the back of Gaza. And if you break the back of Gaza, you largely break the back of Hamas. A lot of Hamas fighters have been killed. A lot more civilians have been killed. The ratio has been, you know, something like one to four, four civilians or five civilians to every one Hamas fighter. We've now seen about, they estimate about 32,000 or 30,000 civilians killed. Uh, Hamas is said to have a fighting force of between 30 and 40,000. And according to Israeli figures, about half to two thirds of those they say have been destroyed, which would mean if you base, go on their figures, there's probably another 10,000 Hamas fighters still operational. Israel would say if they go into Gaza, what they would say to the Israeli army is if we go in there and we essentially destroy the remaining parts of Hamas's military machine, the war's over. The problem with that, of course, is that the commander of Hamas in Gaza, Yahya Sinwar, is still somewhere in Gaza, probably in a tunnel or somewhere. Very difficult for them to claim victory while the leader who planned the October 7 atrocities is still on the loose.